Hi, on this inaugural episode of Penmanship, we're not going to talk about pens. I want to talk about these two notebooks. The Travelers to my right and the Plotter to my left. And why and how I use them. So, I actually have two Travelers and even... Okay, this one's kind of expensive. But if you didn't get the Plotter one, which is a gift from my girlfriend, the combined cost will be much, still much, much less than a father. So hopefully, maybe this will inform you on, on deciding if you want to get a father. Because on, uh, if you look online, most, mostly it's been a very positive review on, on the plotter. But it does cost a lot. And even as good as it is, it does cost a lot. I mainly use this one again as a date book with my girlfriend because she got it for me and so I use it as a, as a scrapbook, that's what I'm looking for, as a scrapbook with her. I have another insert which is just mostly to scratch with scratch paper, things I need to write down that I don't want to write down in this one, in this insert. With this one, again, I have one waste book. I would say about 80% of what's in it is just gibberish. The only thing that really stands out is the San Francisco pen show. This is my first pen show. And so I wrote a list of what I wanted to see, what I wanted to compare to, uh, the grind I wanted to test out. There's also the California pen show. I'm pretty much done with this, this insert. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to date it 2023, 2024. And Someday I'll go back to it and just reminisce on whatever I need to reminisce. The second insert is photography related. I shoot a lot of film photography. Film photography doesn't have metadata. And so if I want to know something, I have to write it down. A good example. January 16, I use a Kodak 100 shot it on my Leica M6 and I was in Yosemite at that time. So I used that so I know what what I was doing with that film at the time. I since started writing paragraphs because I, it's not just metadata, I also wanted to write down why and how I was, what, what I was feeling when I took that picture. What I mainly use this for, everyday carry photography projects. I like it because it's messy, and by being messy, it allows me to be a bit more creative. That's why I like this um, using a traveler's notebook. Now the plotter. The very, very, very expensive but extremely good looking plotter. You can't put a lot in it. You can't put more than, uh, than 80 pages, so you have to be very efficient. I use this mainly for work. I make a to-do list. I, I write down how to accomplish it, when it needs to be accomplished, and then I remove, move, the, move the pages once I'm done. It allows me to be hyper-focused and no distractions. That's why I really like this product. But again, is it worth the cost? Because to set this, this specific book up, it's like $200. Um, this, this is the Horsehair 2. That was like one, 130, 140, 40. And then these, these inserts, this protector, these paper, they add up to well, well close to $200. So is it worth $200 for this? Well, this is $50. That's up to you. Anyway, this channel is, is, is still starting out. I'm still trying to find my footing on it. Thanks. Bye.